Hello traders, so hello traders, so the title of the video is Power of Simple ABCD Chart Pattern Trading Technique. Alright, so if you want to learn more about the ABCD Chart Pattern Trading, go to www.stochastic-macd. Alright, we want to talk about the power of a simple ABCD Chart Pattern Trading Technique. So what are we looking for? So price are going up from point A, all right? Usually will stay above the moving number 50. That's the orange line there. So oh, going up, going up, going up, going up. It stay carefully, purposely above the moving average 50. Have I said that TSC W24 traders use moving average 50? All right. Here it is. Stay above it. All this time, for many years, since 1990 up to 2008, he stay above the moving average 50. All right, he's standing at that. He has a okay, a high chance to go up if he stay above 50. If the price above the moving average 50 will give prior to bullish signal. Any bullish chart pattern above the moving average 50 is usually a high probability trading setup. So price stay above the moving at 50, so you have it on your chart. If it goes below the moving at 50, then the peak that it has achieved before going back below the moving at 50, one we call it point B. So you see here, it stay above moving at 50, it did not go below it. It stay above it carefully. Here it went a little bit, it went back. But now, here it is, it went below it. So the question we want to ask after it did below the moving of 50, after staying above it for many years, is that what is the highest point it has achieved? That highest point, we must label it B. Couple, all right, everything clear? All right. Now, Usually, if it did below the moving of 50, it means that the moving of 50 is not supporting the price anymore. The price will be looking for a better dynamic support level, moving averages and dynamic support and resistance level. So, the first one is moving of 100. So, the moving of 100 usually we correspond to the oversold CCI, uh, oversold RSI, repeat. We have a hundred very often will correspond to the oversold RSI. RSI. Okay, I have it here. Was the oversold that time? So the moving of a hundred, I haven't got it on my chart, will be somewhere between the 50 and a hundred. Some between the 50, this one is the 200. So the, the hundred will be somewhere where is this a trend line. So you can see that the RSI period 14 was well oversold. Oh, you want me to place it so you can see? So you say, Joe, why don't you just place it on the chart? Okay, hold on a second. Try to save time, my friend. Oh, why are you putting me under pressure? <laughs> all right. Okay, all right. Let, I'll put a simple moving average 100. So everybody is happy, all right? Okay, then I'll color it uh, into red. I like to color my moving of 100 into red. You see now? Here it is, moving of 100. So after breaking below the 50, the next first and nearest support level is 100. If it, if it couldn't find support at 100, it will go to the 200. We don't want the video to be too long. Do we? All right. So what I'm saying to you, after it did below the moving average uh, 50, if you find a support on the edge of uh, the 100, we'll call that point C. But for this strategy, I want to be very, very generous, which means I want you to find the best setup. So. Though sometimes the prime may find a support on the edge of the hundred, 
For this tutorial, we will call the point C the point that is below the support that is below the moving average 100. So, first condition, price stay above the moving average 50 for many, many years. Now, it did below the 50. We ask the question, what is the highest point? It's the point B, the higher elected. Now, now that it did below the 50, where do we place the point C? The point C sometimes can be on the edge of 100, but for this demonstration, I would prefer that you think of the point C as the support that is below the 100. Usually, it may be the moving of the 200. That's it. The next thing that you want to do is that you will also measure the distance from point A to point B vertically. So this is a point A, horizontal, point B, horizontal. We connect them vertically. And the reason why we are doing that, we are training the A, B, C, D chart pattern. So how do you determine the point D? All right. Practically, we use uh, this distance, like, like uh, you see, this lumpy distance, like a cord. Suppose you are using a cord here, connecting A to B. So at point C, we will put the same cord, all right, like, uh, okay, from here, up like this, okay? So we say A, B should be equal to C, D, price action. We are talking about the price action. But practically speaking, for this tutorial, you after you measure distance between the A and B, to set the target for the point D, you project that distance above the point B. That's what I want you to do for this strategy. So don't go around saying that that's the only way that we trade the A, B, C, D, because you may probably watch other videos that I recorded before when I was doing things a little bit different. But for this video, this tutorial today, on the 18th of June, the time in London is uh, 10 p.m. for this strategy, I want you to measure the distance between A to B and to project it above the point B and put it there. Because it's a distinctive pattern of A, B, C, D. When the price stay above the moving line 100 for a long time, and then you form a peak that we call B, and then we come near the moving of a 200 that we call C. And then from the moving of a 200, it turn around from there and start going up. We we'll prefer to put our target point, point D, right there, using the distance between the A to B, projecting it above the point B. All right. So if it goes above the point B and start forming higher low, and it common certain lines are broken, like here, like this, you should draw that trend line like this. Now you're above the point B. Uh, it's only testing that trend line. You see, uh, common certain line is broken. It's only testing those are the time when you want to look for an opportunity to sell. Sometimes you may be tricky. You may have to buy on the edge of the moving 14 at this. But it goes up. So the bullish momentum is now increasing big time. So you'll be looking for a break above, a prior high, and retest. So there are many ways you will enter the trade above okay, the point B when you are trying to hit the target at a point D. After you have placed the target at a point D, you also draw your midpoint target, which means you divide this measuring stick into two, into half, and you highlight the 50% Fibonacci response. So there's a midpoint here. That's why people took profit here. So it breaks above the midpoint target. We test it. It's a good one. You load it again, and you are hoping that you reach the target. Sometimes it may not. Now that it goes above the target, what do you do? You project the target one more time. Now we are in uncharted territory. If we are in uncharted territory, because you can't see the end of this measure stick, right, we'll use, okay, for now, the midpoint target, which is this one, dividing this measure stick into two, and the projecting the up to set a midpoint target for now, as the price continues to go up until it hits, the, okay, another ultimate target up there. Very simple strategy of A, B, C, D. What are we look? You will see sometimes even on the hourly time frame, if you place the moving of a 50 and 200 on your chart, all right, 
you will see sometimes if you on the hourly time frame, for hours to above the moving of 54 sometime, all right? Go around, go on a, go on the two hour time frame. You don't use the hourly time frame. Go on the two hour time, go on the daily chart, you see that. Stay above, above the 50 for a long time. And then you say A, B. And now you bring below the 50, you come near the 200 or go below the 100. Okay? Uh, find a support. And then start blah, blah, blah. Draw a trend line. Now you want to draw a trend line. So you may see a high probability bullet trend setup. If it goes above the point B after doing everything that I said so far, just measure the distance from A to B and project it up. Like it doesn't mean that definitely you will hit the target. You set your midpoint target and you just train one step at a time and hopefully you will reach the target. If it goes above the target, you do everything that I said before. So this is a simple okay, trading strategy talking about the power of simple ABCD chart pattern trading technique. So George, I didn't see any power. Why are you calling everything power? Yes, there is a power because before the price is doing what it's doing, so you see that is why I'm saying power because you know something, you have observed something, okay? You've seen it before. It's going on all the time. Now you are aware of it and you want be, to be part of it. Because you are aware of it, before it's happening, you have a power in the financial market to make decisions. And you know that some people will take profit here before the, the price will even reach that level. And you know that there will be some people taking profit here. If he breaks above this ultimate target, like myself, I told you before, I don't like, okay, so we'll be looking for conversion signal here. But if I want to buy it again, I don't like to buy below this target point. I would prefer to buy above the, the, the ultimate target, which is this one here. Okay. It's a nice. Definitely, I'll be part of this one. You press above the target, you retest it. That's not finished yet, my friend. Is the common trade line broken? Oh, George, I don't want to wait for the monthly candlestick bar to break the common trade line. Use the daily chance. The three candles break it nicely. Candlestick bar push it above the common monthly. Common, so you will draw your common trade line on the monthly chart like this. You say, I don't want to wait for the monthly candlestick bar to close, which normally you should do. You want to catch it at early stage. Wait at least for the, uh, at the weekly candlestick bar to close above the common trade line. And then implement a top down trade method to take it up again. Am I talking too much? So, if you place on your chart, for instance, okay, Bolivia band 100, period, period, Bolivia band 100, volatility 2. So, the middle line of that Bolivia band will be the moving average 100, okay? Okay? And the upper level will be the deviation of the moving average 200, uh, 100 to the other side, okay? Should we talk about it now? If you are using the Bollinger Band 100, all right. Okay, I'll talk about that in another time. Okay, we leave that one for now, okay? So, power of ABCD chart pattern. The oversold RSI usually will correspond to the pullback to the moving average 100. That's what I want to say to you, okay? So, you can use the Bollinger Band, okay, to help you a bit, okay? Bollinger Band 100 or 50, all right? So if you have any questions, suggestions, blah, 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 please put in the comment section. We want to hear from you, your thoughts. Okay, what do you think of the video? Is the sound good? Everything nice? All right, you were speaking with your focus. Say something, please, all right? Were you laughing too much? It's a comment, yes. Joe, you are making me laugh too much. So I feel I say, yes, it's good to make people laugh, okay? Well, Joe, you make me cry a little bit. I say, why? I didn't make you cry. I'm making you laugh, please. Some, say something, please, in the comment section. All right, we want to hear from you. If this video has been truly, truly useful to you, please let us know by giving us the thumbs up. If you dislike it, be sure to mark it down, okay? If you think it's an essential tutorial, help us, please, by sharing it on the social media, Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, scope it, please, all right? Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Our YouTube channel is 24 Stock Trader, digit 2, digit 4 Stock Trader. Be sure to click on the notification bell so anytime we record a new video, you will be the first person to be notified. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. We are the TSTW24 Traders talking about power of simple ABCD 
chart pattern trading technique. Happy trading to you all, and I will speak to you soon. Thank you for watching.